that is why in the name of divinity, spirituality, all that stuff, when people look for a special experience, some special shivering to go through your body, some fancy light and star must dazzle inside your head, you are destroying yourself. Experiencing that by which you are experiencing everything, that is your nature, Anuhava Swarupa, you cannot escape it. Objects of experiences can be dismissed. If this flower is the object of your experience, flower goes away, you don't see the flower, but your seeing doesn't stop. Are you getting that point? Do you see this? Those of you who are hearing me the first time or second time, it doesn't matter, just listen it. Do you see this? What shall you say? Come and tell. Do you see this? Yes. Do you see? The moment I say, do you see this? Yes. I take it away. Do you see? Immediately you say no. Why? Because you think as I'm asking you, do you see the flower? Do you see this flower? Yes. Flower is gone. Do you see? Yes. 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 Listen, listen. Seeing is continuous. Seeing the flower comes and goes away. Very subtle. Flower can be taken away. So seeing the flower is not possible because the flower is not there. But seeing, because of the flower are you seeing? Your eyes see. Your seeing doesn't depend upon what you see. Seeing is continuous. Now that's, your eyes are seeing, experiencing the sight. Are you experiencing that your eyes are experiencing? Yes. Eyes are closed. Are you experiencing? Yes. What? Eyes are not experiencing. So the consciousness, you know, who's present? That way, that is Anuhava Swarup. I explained to you that. You cannot stop experiencing being conscious. But you can stop seeing, not seeing. Touching, not touching. Testing, not seeing. Look at inside. You look, direct your attention inside. Is there a thought? Listen carefully. Is there a thought? If you say yes, you are experiencing it. Do you see this flower? Tell again. Do you see this flower? Yes. While seeing this flower, are you remembering your eyes? Be honest. So shall we say you have no eyes? Do you have a thought? Say yes or no. The moment you say yes, you are accepting, you are conscious. And while seeing the thought, are you conscious that you are conscious? No. Shall we say therefore consciousness is not? Instantaneous wisdom, friends, you don't have to wait for months, years, a lifetime. That is why I say Acharya Van Purusha Veda, the person who knows it, Ananya Prakte Gatiratra Nasti, Yamaraj very nicely says, Ananya Prakte, the person who is, he is one with the truth, Matta Anyatna Vidyati, there is nothing other than me, I am not the special, everybody is like that. One who sees it clearly, when he or she speaks, reveals, you can't escape, because nobody gives you who you are. The guru, the teacher is a facilitator. Never shall take the credit, I gave it. Understand? So that is the experience, you cannot escape. So from the unconscious, these manifestations, from the unconscious to semi-conscious, to conscious, to self-conscious, human being ultimate. From self-conscious, next step is being one with the consciousness itself, which you are already that. One word. Any experience you analyze, you are with yourself. You can't escape, friends. But if you see again, how many people are, you know, are interested in that? We start with our body, of course. So physical universe, we saw that. Mata, Pita, Guru, all that stuff. Janma, birth, death, old age, they're all physical phenomenon. 
outside. Clearly you saw, none of these things are your nature. Because you are conscious of every one of those things. Go into the mind level, thought level. Emotions are not visible in the physical universe. That is why, friends, emotions are very subjective, very personal. And your entire sense of mystery, misery, fear, anxiety, possessiveness, feel of feeling of negligence, love, infatuation, every type of emotion in your personal universe drowns you. Please, body is innocent. Deho na janati. Body is innocent. Rivers innocent. Mountain, the whole universe is innocent. Do not blame it. Never did your body promise you that I shall give you company. Nothing in this universe promises you. Your expectation is, I shall live forever. Uh -huh. You are living with the body. There is no hint of emotions there. All that language of kama, krodha, lobha, madha, moha, mascharya inside. Friends, don't say, these six fellows, dehe, tishthanti, taskara. Taskara means the looters. These six fellows are sitting down inside, jnana ratna apaharaya, to loot that precious jewel of wisdom. It's a poetry, don't take it literally. Do you know why? There are no taskaras, there are possibilities are there. You are the architect of your own emotion. You create those thieves. You don't believe it? Atomic energy, atom bomb. Possibility is there in this universe. Who created it? Self-created atom bomb? A human being created it. That is why no human individual must take credit for anything, friends. No human being must take credit for anything. Why? You cannot create something, the possibility of which doesn't exist in the universe. Can you create? If the possibility is not there, if the water becomes, in zero degree becomes ice, did you create the ice? Did you create the smoke? If you create a medicine, possibilities in the tree, leaves, you know, different types of chemicals, as even an explorer. An explorer doesn't create a new land. He discovers new countries, continents, islands, mountains. No explorer creates something. A scientist discovers, doesn't create. But how much credit do you take? Can you even cook something if the possibility is not there? Can you speak something if the possibility is not there? When the possibility goes into a mode of seed state, you are old. The possibility of speaking is there. You can't use it. Mouth. What happens? You are speaking, no? Speak. So don't blame. Emotions are there. Only this, I mean, I don't know what to do with it. And then people also will put that whole responsibility on you. You must not have a karma. Don't desire. What lofty advice, absolute garbage. You should not have desire. You should not have lust. You should not have passion. You don't be angry. You should not be jealous. Who is talking? The fellow is the embodiment of jealousy. The person gives a huge advice. Don't be jealous. Then that katha is over. Upadesh is over. You go there, go out. Next day, you do not come. You go to some other place to listen some advice. And you come back. You come back and tell to the person who from whom I heard for the first time that you should not be jealous. You tell him, Maharaj, the first day I came to your class, you were super wonderful. I enjoyed it. And after listening to your talk, the next day I went to another person. That man, out of the world. 
दिस पर्सन विल शूट यू विथ इज आईज ही विल नॉट लुक अट यू नेक्स्ट डे वाई हाउ कैन समबडी बी बिगर दैन मी फ्री फ्रॉम जेलसी बी ऑनेस्ट फ्रेंड्स डोंट गिव द चीप एडवाइस गिव अप दिस anger hatred jealousy all these emotions understand the possibilities that are in us we unconsciously create it i wish i could see today we create it therefore don't say give up an emotion don't build it 